What do you build me up? Buttercup, baby, just to let me down And mess me around in the worst of all What is going on guys? Today I am back with another review of a day at an amusement park. And so today I will be discussing July 12th, 2020 at Dorney Park. This was our second visit to Dorney Park for the 2020 season. And funny thing is, we were there on July 12th, 2019. And it's crazy to think that we were back there a year later. Isn't that crazy guys? And so anyways, let's just get started with this review of the day. So, when I first got to the park, I had to wait for E.B. for a little bit because he was still at the toll booths because there was a little line there. And so, anyways, when E.B. finally met up with me, we went through the temperature screenings like normal. And when we, after we did, when we were about to enter the park, E.B. realized that he forgot his pass in his car. So, we had to walk all the way to E.B.'s car for him to retrieve his pass. And so, anyways, after E.B. retrieved his pass, we headed into the park, and we had to do the temperature screenings all over again, too. And so, anyways, after we did all that, we, ate, we headed straight to Coaster's Drive-In for a nice meal there. And it was a nice meal there. I got a grilled chicken sandwich. I enjoyed my first grilled chicken sandwich of the season. And E.B. got a cheeseburger that I think actually had cheese on it, which was great. And so, anyways, it, the meal was at Coaster's Drive-In was kind of funny, too, because we heard kids screaming in there and people doing antics in there. And, yeah, and so, anyways, after our nice and funny meal at Coaster's Drive-In and our first meal there for the season, we headed for the Ferris wheel to get some great shots. And it was actually a pretty decent ride on the Ferris wheel. And so, anyways, after the Ferris wheel, I saw that Woodstock Express was going up at Slipdale, so I, sprint, I sprinted right up close to it for me to get a shot of it, because I had never gotten a close-up shot of Woodstock Express in all of Coaster Plus Music 19's existence. And so, E.B. was laughing so hard when I sprinted to Woodstock Express. And so, anyways... After I got my much-needed shot of Woodstock Express, which was up close, guys, it was amazing. And we went on Enterprise, and which was a really good ride. I always love a good Enterprise-type ride. And so, anyways, after we rode Enterprise, we headed for Demon Drop, and that was a really good ride we had on it. And after Demon Drop, we started making preparations, and by that, I mean changing shoes to ride Thunder Creek Mountain. And that was a big moment because we did the log flume song on it, which was really funny. Like, we're on the log flume! We're on the log flume! And so, anyways, after Thunder Creek Mountain, we headed for Zephyr, which was a really great ride on it because we were able to get some great picks, of course. And we were able to see some markings for the new coaster that's probably coming in 2021, which was really good. And so, anyways, after that ride on Zephyr, we were we, we were getting some water in the relaxation zone, you know, because E.B. was really thirsty, and so was I. And so, anyways, after we got our water, we were going to ride Cedar Creek Flyers, but then it was closed for, for cleaning. And so, anyways, we after we found out it was closed, we took number sixes at the bathroom located by it. And so, anyways, after our number sixes, we rode Steel Force, which was really good. And I got some ejector airtime on that first drop, you guys. That was my favorite moment of the whole ride. And so, anyways, I got a ton of airtime on those Campbellback hills, especially, and the drop off of the mid-course brake run. And so, anyways, after our ride on Steel Force, we headed for Thunderhawk, which was a pretty decent ride on it, but we had to wait for quite some time because capacity just wasn't good and I understand that it was to accommodate social distancing but it still just wasn't that good and plus they cleaned the train to like make sure it was safe because um, of COVID-19 and so anyways after our ride on Thunderhawk EB was getting real thirsty so he got we both got drinks from a new ice cream stand and I had enough money so I dared to get a new ice cream from that stand that is right, ladies and gentlemen. I got a chocolate ice cream cone 
from the all-new ice cream stand that is where Burrito Cantina used to be. And it was amazing, guys. Like, it was totally worth it. And so, anyways, EB got a funny pic of me eating my ice cream. I will share that pic right now. Wasn't that a funny pic, guys? <laughs> And, now that I think about it, I type resemble in that picture the gorilla statue you always see on the Ocean City, New Jersey boardwalk, <laughs> which, is, which is pretty funny. And so, anyways, after that ice cream session and our drink session, we headed to Music Express, which was a really good ride, and on that, I always love a good ride on Music Express. And so, anyways, after Music Express... We headed for Dominator Red, which is all, which was always a good ride on Dominator Red. I I always love when you get that airtime at the top. And so, anyways, after Dominator Red, we were originally gonna ride Sea Dragon, but then it was closed for maintenance, which we were sad to hear since we still have not gotten on Sea Dragon this season yet. And so, anyways, after we found out that heartbreaking news, we headed to Auntie Anne's for EB to get a drink since he was thirsty. And while we were waiting in line for Auntie Anne's, we saw Anthony from Ride the Thrills as he was just ending his work shift at Thorny Park, which is, all, it's, it's nice, it, it was nice to see him. And EB had a long conversation with Anthony, too, since uh, he hadn't seen Anthony for so long. And so, shout out goes to Anthony for being at Thorny Park, for being ran into by me and EB at Thorny Park today. And so, anyways, after we got our drink at Auntie Anne's, we headed for Hydra, which the ride in general was pretty good, but we had to wait pretty long for it. And that, I hate about it, because, I well, I understand it's to accommodate social distancing at all, but capacity was just not that good. And stocking, stockings, stack, I mean, stackings is just not, was just not that good that day. And so, anyways, after we got off of Hydro, we were originally going to ride Wave Swinger, but then it was closed. So then, I changed into my bathing suit, and we went on Thunder Canyon. And it was an epic ride on it. Although there was a wait, and it was worth the wait, though, because we rode Thunder Canyon when it was really cloudy, and it was always just a fun ride on the. It was always just a fun ride on Thunder Canyon in general, and it felt great to be back on it. And so, anyways, after we got off of Thunder Canyon, we put our socks and shoes on in the relaxation zone, and we were disappointed that they didn't have any water, since that was one of the reasons we were gonna we were gonna hang out in the in that relaxation. Zone. I mean, we were gonna make a pit stop in that relaxation zone. It was just to, was just to put on our socks and shoes and get a bottle of water, get a drink of water. But we they didn't have water there. So, anyways, I so then I changed back into my bathing suit after we put our socks and shoes on. And while we while I was changing, I noticed that one crock was missing. And, um, and after I realized that croc was missing, I ran straight out of the bathroom to tell EB about it, and then I was like, I think I accidentally left it in the relaxation zone, and I had the feeling about that the whole time we were heading back to the relaxation zone to probably get my croc, and it, and sure enough, it was there, and I got happy because I knew it was there, so I held up my croc and did this dance, I knew it, I knew it. I knew it. And so, anyways, I hopped around in circles while doing it. And a, gr and a girl who was in the relaxation zone at the time with us was clapping along to it and saying, He knew it. He knew it. He knew it. Which was really funny. And that is a classic, the I knew it dance. And you should all do the I knew it dance when you lose something at an amusement park and you know where it is. Because, uh... The, the the I Knew It dance uh, has been officially been invented by me. That's going to happen whenever I lose something at a park and know where it is. So there you have it. The I Knew It dance is officially invented. And so anyways, after I did the I Knew It dance, we headed to Talon. And it was a pretty good ride on Talon. We got assigned to row six, but it was still good that we got on Talon. And so, anyways, after our ride on Talon, we just had to, we just had to go straight to Chicken Shack and not ride Dodge and Kaleidoscope and Wave Swinger, which was unfortunate for us, but 
hey, you gotta do what you gotta do, because it was getting close to closing. And so, anyways, we had our meal at Chicken Shack, and after that, that was the end of our day at Thorny Park. We, we, I saw a kaleidoscope running on our way out, and I wished that we were getting one of the last rides on it, but unfortunately, I was in a different situation, so we couldn't do it. And so, anyways, that concludes this review of the de review of July 12, 2020 at Thorny Park. Reply to me your thoughts on this video, your thoughts on this review of the day, and make sure to stay tuned for more of those coming soon to Coaster Plus Music 19, and I will see you in the next.